What the deal, YouTube? It's your boy Wes, and this is Kicks from Wes. And today is not a sneaker unboxing, it's not a shoe review. Today, I just wanted to talk about the first shoe that I bought, what got me into collecting sneakers. And this shoe here is, <clears throat> as you can tell, it's a Jordan. It's gonna be the Air Jordan 13 in the bread colorway, OG. You know what I mean? I still got the Foot Locker tag on the box. The box is beat up from sitting on so many shoes or whatever. You know what I mean? And just wanted to give you guys a little story on what started me and the purchasing shoes. Coming up as a kid, you know what I mean? I ain't have money like that to be just going out every Saturday or however they was releasing when I was coming up. But my friends, they always used to come to school, they got the new Jordans on. And I was like, oh, those cool, those dope, you know what I mean? So, when I was able to start making my own money, and even when I did start making my own money, I wasn't really in the shoes like that. I was more into playing a video game or just hanging out and, you know what I mean, doing stuff like that. But one day, <clears throat> I don't know, something sparked in me, like, I heard that these was coming out, and I got off work at 5 o'clock in the morning. They let us out early that day. It was an early shift. So my homeboy, he wanted them, and he was like, yo, I'm going I'm going to get them joints. I'm like, what joints? He was like, yo, the 13s, the OGs, the breads. I'm like, oh, yeah? All right, I'm going to go with you. So we went, went to the finish line. I mean, not the finish line, the Foot Locker. And this is when I was still living in Jersey. So we went to the Foot Locker or whatever, and the line was crazy. I'm like, yo, this is crazy. People really sit out here for shoes. Like, and so I stood online and I became one of those people that sat out and, and waited online to, to purchase a pair of shoes. And so store didn't open up till 10 and we was out there for a while and I got hungry and wanted to leave. And, but something in me was like, just stay, just stay. Cause the line was so long. I'm like, I don't even think I'm gonna be able to get a pair. But you know what I mean? When 10 o'clock came, went inside the Foot Locker, asked for a 10, and they actually had it. It was the last 10, too, that they had. So I was grateful enough to be able to purchase them. It's still in good condition. I, I keep them in a box. You know what I mean, I don't do all that crazy wrapping in towel stuff. But here go the shoe right here. These are expected to release this year. That's that's the rumor that, that we're hearing, that these supposed to come back 2017. Know what I mean? And as you can tell, mine's are still in all right condition. I mean, I wear the hell out of this shoe a lot. Like, it don't have the reflective on here, so ain't no reflecting when the light hit it. But, I like this shoe. I love this shoe, actually. This is, this is the shoe that started it all for me right here. I would never sell this shoe out of my collection, never. This is just the shoe that just started it for me. And, um... I just wanted to share with you guys on what got me into collecting shoes and you know what what I like spending my money on. I, I like sneakers. I like I like looking fly. I mean, it's just just like what I like doing. That's all. And so um, you know, I don't really have much more to say about it. It's just I wanted to share with you guys what started me into collecting shoes and. You know, I don't have a whole massive collection. I don't got over 100 pairs. I got around 40, 40 pairs of shoes right now. And they ain't all Jordans. I got some LeBrons. I got uh, KDs. The recent video I just did, if you guys haven't checked that out, uh, just picked up a pair of Adidas NMDs, the poor man vapes. That's what people on the internet call them. Now, I mean, I guess because they look like the, the Bape NMDs, but... They not, so, you know, but this shoe right here, this shoe right here is what started it off for me. Really did. I remember just, just waiting. And then after that, I would just go, stand online and wait for the next release of the shoe that I like. Now, I didn't go buy every shoe that came out. Uh, nah, I got bills. I got kids, you know, so just wanted to give you guys a little story on me and what started me into collecting shoes and this shoe right here. That's it. Can't wait. This month here, Black Cats is coming out. You can never go wrong with, with an all black shoe. 
Um, I'm going to be buying those. Definitely am going to be buying those. Now, those got the reflector joint on there. You know what I mean? When the light hit them, it, it got the 3M, so it reflect off. You know, you go to other shoe as well. Oh, crap. I'm about to drop them. So that's both of them right there. I mean, and I, and, I wear, and I wear my shoes, man. I wear them all. I clean them, take care of them. Take care of my shoes. My wife, she'd be like, you buying another pair of shoes? I'd be like, yeah. And she's like, I don't understand. When you got 30 pairs of shoes in the closet, why do you need another pair? Uh, and she just, she don't understand. She don't she don't get it. It's, you know, it's, it's what I'm into. This is my hobby. These ain't fakes. Hold on, let me, let me show the box. <laughs> For somebody be in the comment section like, oh, you got some fakes, not fakes. I'm bugging. Quality control stamp. Wow. And yeah, back in 2012, you got that red stamp. That's it. That's all that's in this box. That red stamp. And and you got the Foot Locker thing right here. So you can tell that these ain't no fakes. I don't buy fake shoes. I don't waste my time. Yo, you know. Look at this. The actual receipt, but it's faded. 2012, it's 2017, so you do the math. The receipt is just faded. Look at that, it's, it's faded. I, don't, I can't even. It still say it right there, so let me see if the camera will pick that up. 170 bucks of my money went to these shoes. And so, <clears throat> I mean, that's it. Still got tissue paper, tissue paper is alright, but, you know. So that's all I wanted to share with you guys, you know, let you, uh, let you in on what started me in the sneakers. Down in the comment section, <clears throat> down in the comment section, let me know what was the shoe that you first brought what started off your sneaker collection. This channel here is to bring others alike who like shoes and who collect sneakers. This channel is not to be showing off and saying, I got more than you. Hey, look what I got. No, I'm not here for that. I'm, I, I like shoes. I collect shoes. And that's why I started this sneaker channel. This is what this channel is for. Also, if you haven't seen my latest video, I'm going to be putting that up as well. Go check that out. That's the review of the NMD uh, RX1 Runner, uh, the Olive Camo, Colorway, Poor Man Beeps. You know, go check that video out. Check out check out the review on that, the unboxing and the on-feed of that. And like always, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for taking your time checking out my video. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Know what I mean? If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Because I'm going to be doing more content just like this. Um, what else? And also, if you want to share it with your friends, then share it. Then, then go ahead and share it, man, by all means. I'm going to be making more videos just like this. Just wanted to come at you on a personal level. Give you a little story on what started me and how...